It was a gala day in sacred Kapavastu, a throng of Buddhist worshippers had met to celebrate a jubilee. And priests and masters from all parts of India were there, they taught, but they embellished little truth with many words. And Jesus went into an ancient plaza and taught, he spoke of Father Mother God, he told about the Brotherhood of Life. The priests and all the people were astounded at his words and said, Is this not Buddha come again in flesh? No other one could speak with such simplicity and power. And Jesus spoke a parable, he said, There was a vineyard all unkept, the vines were high, the growth of leaves and branches great. The leaves were broad and shut the sunlight from the vines, the grapes were sour, and few, and small. The pruner came, with his sharp knife he cut off every branch, and not a leaf remained, just root and stalk, and nothing more. The busy neighbors came with one accord and were amazed, and said to him who pruned, You foolish man! The vineyard is despoiled. Such desolation! There is no beauty left, and when the harvest time shall come the gathers will find no fruit. The pruner said, Content yourselves with what you think, and come again at harvest time and see. And when the harvest time came on the busy neighbors came again, they were surprised. The naked stalks had put forth branch and leaf, and heavy clusters of delicious grapes weighed every branch to earth. The gatherers rejoiced as, day by day, they carried the rich fruitage to the press. Behold the vineyard of the Lord! The earth is spread with human vines. The gorgeous forms and rites of men are branches, and their words are leaves, and these have grown so great that sunlight can no longer reach the heart, there is no fruit. Behold, the pruner comes, and with a two-edged knife he cuts away the branches and the leaves of words, and naught is left but unclothed stalks of human life. The priests and they of pompous show, rebuke the pruner, and would stay him in his work. They see no beauty in the stalks of human life, no promises of fruit. The harvest time will come and they who scorn the pruner will look on again and be amazed, for they will see the human stalks that seemed so lifeless, bending low with precious fruit. And they will hear the harvesters rejoice, because the harvest is so great. The priests were not well pleased with Jesus' words, but they rebuked him not, they feared the multitude.